Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here's your host, Joshua Elder. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to buy cryptocurrency off of Binance.com. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I'm always uploading videos on a daily basis, teaching you how to build a life and business full of freedom, passion, and fulfillment. Now, the first thing that you wanna do is you want to purchase Bitcoin from Coinbase, okay? This is by far the easiest process. This is the process that I know. And so I'm gonna guide you through it step by step. So if you don't know how to purchase uh, Bitcoin from Coinbase, okay, which is the exchange that we use to buy Bitcoin, and then what we do is we transfer that Bitcoin over to Binance and then use the Bitcoin on Binance to purchase our alternate coins, okay? So if you don't know how to purchase Bitcoin off of Coinbase, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this very video that will guide you through how to purchase Bitcoin on Coinbase because I created a video previously that shows you how to do that in depth. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to transfer your purchase Bitcoin over to Binance and then use that Bitcoin to purchase whatever alternate coin that you want to purchase. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to assume that you've already purchased Bitcoin off of Coinbase. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to go to accounts. Okay, as you can see right here, I've got 0 0.0325. Bitcoin in my Bitcoin wallet. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to send. Okay. And this is going to say recipient. And so what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to jump over to Binance and we're going to assume that you've already created an account. Very easy. Step by step. Go ahead and create an account on Binance. And then once you get to the page, after you log in, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're going to want to click, uh, funds. Okay. You're going to go over to funds and you're going to want to click on deposits and withdrawals. Okay. And then it's going to show you all the different coins, right? And then we have our respective investments, our total balance in each of these coins. And then right here where it says Bitcoin, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click deposit right here. And then it's going to give you this deposit address. What we want to do is we want to copy this address. All right, we're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to jump back over to Coinbase and we're going to enter it right here. All right, and then we're going to select our amount. So let's say that we wanted to transfer over $200 USD, which is 0.0134 in Bitcoin. And then I will put a note here that's basically like, you know, telling, reminding myself what this, uh, what I did with this Bitcoin. So we're just going to put Binance transfer. And then we're gonna select continue. Okay, I'm actually not gonna do that right now because I've already transferred uh, Bitcoin over to uh, Binance. But you're gonna notice here that there's a network fee, okay? $15.58 and you have your total right here. So once you select continue, it will take about two to three confirmations from the blockchain to verify the deposit over here. Once the deposit is verified, you'll notice that you're, um, your balance will decrease over here and then your balance will increase over here and the total balance will change. Okay, so once we've done that, we've waited, typically can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to even sometimes days depending on the exchange. Uh, I really haven't had any problems the maximum time that it's really taken me to transfer uh, Bitcoin from Coinbase to Binance was right around a couple hours. Okay, so after we complete this, we're gonna wanna go to exchange and we're gonna to go to basic. And let's say that we want to purchase Verge, for example. We're gonna type in XVG, and then we're going to uh, click open on this little box. Obviously, it's telling us right now that it's 17 cents per uh, Verge coin. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click that open box. And this is basically how I do it. And then it will show you right here, buy XVG with your Bitcoin balance. So let's say, you know, we wanted to buy, you know, five shares in Verge or five coins, right? Then we just select buy XVG and boom, your order is placed. Then you can go and jump over here to order history. 
and you can see if your order's actually been filled and closed, right? So you can see that I've purchased IOTA here, Verge here. I've purchased Monero. I've purchased Power. I've I've purchased uh, uh, a lot of these other different. I've purchased Bread, right? I've purchased a lot of these other uh, different different cryptocurrencies and so you can see that list here and then it will actually tell you if I click detail right here it'll tell me the trading price in Bitcoin how many orders were filled how many shares I bought how many coins I bought uh, the fee and then the total in in Bitcoin right here all right and then I can use like an Excel spreadsheet so you can actually see right here when I placed orders on coinbase and you can see that I transferred uh, money to Binance right here. I transferred money to another exchange right here, so on and so forth. So I'll create another video showing you guys exactly how I'm tracking everything, but this kind of gives you an idea of how you can track where your money goes so you can keep track of everything and keep everything organized. And of course I have, this is my um, my basic ledger for December, and then I have uh, January right here. So just helps you keep everything organized so you know where all your money is going, so you know what your buying price was. There's also an app called Blockfolio that will help you keep all this organized too as well. So you can either do it this way or do it in the app. I like to do both just in case you know something happens to Blockfolio or something happens to my, my spreadsheet here. But that's pretty much it, you guys. That's how you purchase uh, any other alternate cryptocurrency um, using Bitcoin from Coinbase. And what I'll do is I will put some links in the description. One, if you don't know how to buy Bitcoin off of Coinbase, I will leave a link in the description to another video that shows you how to do that. I'll also leave a link so you can sign up for Coinbase. So basically you will get $10 back for your first purchase and then I will get $10 as well. So if you wanna use my link, you can do that. I'll also link up another link in the description to Binance. You can go ahead and get signed up with Binance. So with that said, this is Joshua Elder signing off. And if you got some value from this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I'm uploading videos daily in the areas of affiliate marketing, business, health, wellness, mindset, personal development, and everything in between. So we'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. Take care.